Always watching TV. You know the vibes, gang. Once you take that deal, you can't appeal. So we. It's a wrap. Hey, but they say his charges is severe, more severe than thugs. So that, that makes me think thug might be coming on. Yeah, see, that's the most quick. They naming thug as the boss, which means... What's the word, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, man. Y'all know the vibes. It's always watching TV. We got some more Clubhouse content, man. Y'all know y'all boy Wack 100 is the Matt Lock, the Johnny Cochran of Clubhouse, man. Don't know court cases pop up on the internet where he don't give his two cents and tell you about all the times he walked the yard and all the cases he done spanked, man. So we got him chopping it up about wife and Lucci and Young Thug. The whole YFN and YSL Rico indictment. But y'all know how we do over here, man. We gonna let them politic. We gonna let the clip play. It's always watching TV. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe. Hit the like button. You know the vibes, man. And let's just get into it. Get. Well, he taking this case to trial. The only, the only benefit of doing that is if in the later years, something pop up and he can appeal. You take that deal, ain't no appeal. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So him taking it to the box, right? If something pop up, the DA got some crooked shit on them, you know, judge pop up or one of the arrested officers that go over there, then minor, and man, this could have been lying or they didn't recorded them doing some, he got action out of the appeal. So if he take a dub, right, and let's say five years into his sentence, some, some factors pop up, he can't do nothing. So he like trying to give me a dub, I'm gonna take to the box. You know, you know, once again, maybe you know something we don't. Yeah, the lawyers are saying that the offer is absurd and they strongly hinted the DA is intentionally dragging her feet. You know something we don't. We know their cases like I know mine. I fought a case for six years. Whack, found you, yeah, okay? I don't talk about what they found. Yeah, I'll give a about how they found it. I don't talk about what they found. That's cool. But how you find it. So a lot of these keeping it real don't even understand the law. They be talking about they street niggas they ain't never did nothing. The street had to fight nothing in court, nothing. You know, that term you use, bro, come with something. It's like we're telling you, I'm a college grad, but he got an AA. He got a two year degree, okay? You know how to get a tattoo and throw up a gang sign. Mm. You can't go over there and, and talk that language with that PhD or that doctor. You like, he probably, you know, he probably knows something. Probably knows something. I ain't no telling, but once you take that, Deal, you can't appeal. So it. It's a wrap. Hey, but they say his charges is severe, more severe than thugs. So that that makes me think thug might be coming on. Yeah, see, that's the most quick. They naming thug as the boss, which means everything everybody else did, he getting the, the charge for it. These niggas don't understand Rico. Rico yeah. Thug is John Gotti. He's the boss, the capo. YSL is a criminal or organization ran by him. Everybody's up under him. That's why they charge it as a Rico. That means everything going on with it is Rico status. This ain't Whack and Rockstar got called a cripple blood. This is Rockstar as part of a criminal organization, and everything he did, Whack told him to do it. That's Thug. This is why when Gunner said YSL is a label gang, yes. YSL operates and they do these type of activities, yes. The thing about Thug is Rico. If I'm not mistaken, ain't YFL Lucci getting hit with a Rico as well? And if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you. Make sure y'all hit that like button and let's get back to the content. The feds ain't even stashed it and brought it up yet. They ain't even charged with the assault rifles and silencers they found when they made the arrest. Mm. What they finna do, thug, is this. We can't find a jury in your area, so we have to move the case to another county. That's all white folks where we can find a jury. It's 300 witnesses. We gotta have jurors that ain't related or tied into the witnesses. They gonna move it to another county on him. The feds gonna pull him up, pull him up top and run him bow legged put automatic weapons in. Any nigga that did any kind of time see the blueprint. After, look, it's like they looking for me for a murder, right? Four years ago. They kick in my door, they find three automatics and three silencers. But I'm sitting in the county jail without them charges. What do you think they at? You you think they gonna just go away? Then they, they find them go. silencers illegally. <laughs> No, nigga, you talking about 2016. Nigga, I ain't no illegal when they got a warrant. Nigga, that's the subject to everything. Wherever you at, hotel room, car, 
the house is in your name, it's subject to search and seizure. His homies told on him. They rent white in the walls and opened up the drywall, which played to the, to the guns. They tried to get the RICO aspect thrown out six months ago. Judge wasn't going for it. No, it still stands. It was the RICO case. They come to get you because you shot at a club, come in your house and find a gallon of water. Oh, best believe they going to holler at you. The only time they can't get you is when they say, we're coming to court for rock star right yeah. and then they go in your sock drawer and find a gun you're gonna beat that you can only search where a body can be mm. under a bed in a closet a basement the trunk of a car you're gonna beat that a body cannot be in a sock drawer I mean but whack first you said his homies was telling on him when they got into young thug's mansion they broke down the wall and went straight to the assault rifles which indicated somebody told him thug will be keeping his straps in the wall behind the sheetrock right can a body be in the wall how would the body get in the wall then he just said right there if they got a search warrant they got to search wherever a body can be found if they find the pistol in the drawer you could spank that. So he should be able to spank them assault rifles, no? I don't know, man, but how y'all feel about this, man? They offered YFN Lucci 20 years. He turned it down and said, let's go to trial, buddy. I mean, if y'all offering me 20, I might as well try to prove that I'm innocent. What's the odds? I'm probably gonna get that when I lose anyways. At least he wasn't gonna put up a fight, man. I think YFN Lucci got a better chance, though. He got less co-defendants. We ain't hearing about him getting caught up with no contraband and stuff like that. Because it seemed like as soon as Thugger hit the county, man, he needed a perk and a cell phone, man. Him, his whole squad, everybody was just getting busted for a whole bunch of unruly activities, man. But y'all pull up in the comment sections. Let me know what y'all think about this, how y'all feel about this. Your boy, Wack 100, a.k.a. the Matt Locker Clubhouse, Johnny Cochran himself, breaks down the difference between the two cases and gives his opinion man y'all let me know what y'all think how y'all feel about this make sure y'all follow me on all socials at always watching tv subscribe to the channel hit that like button you know the vibes man share the video tell a friend and until next time i'm out of here gang